kind of cold, but uh, today I'm pretty excited. Look at that box, it's massive. <laughs> but today we got, we got Jake. Thank you so much for meeting up with me. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. My gosh, that's like just a wall, like a wall of white. Yeah. So you, uh, you're an automotive? Uh, yeah, yeah, for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes do like heavy duty yeah. and wave runners and boats. You, so you like work on everything. <laughs> yeah, everything I kind of need. Goodness. I think that's it's cool. So how long have you had your box? Did you buy it all at once or is this? So what I did is I, um, back in 2019, I got this. This is a, the 84. And then the year after, then I got this. It's a 67. Man. See, so yeah, I thought, because uh, when you sent me pictures, I was like, is that a Mr. Big? Because it's like, yeah, it looks similar. Other. Well, I guess this is bigger though, because you have a 68 and then an 84. Gosh, it's massive. So what do you keep up top here in the hutch here? I guess not a whole lot, huh? Not too much. It is nice for, you know, when I, um, if I don't finish a job, I just put my tools here and then just close this and lock it. Oh, but yeah. But for the most part, I just put everything in the drawers. And is this light up here like a snap-on light? Or yeah, he says you buy the box, you get a free light for this and also the hutch. Oh, really? So. Goodness. So how long, means. how long have you been wrenching? So I've started like completely Back in 2006, did, did heavy duty for like a decade or so. Oh, really? Okay. Then um, kind of did a few other things, but at the same time, I always did like kind of a hobby. Oh. With, nice. you know, you buy your own cars that are broken and then yeah, that's, that's fix them. Money. And then um, <laughs> and the people knew that I, you know, do these bigger things and they asked mm -hmm. if I could do their car. And then the next person asked and then the next person <laughs> asked. And I don't have as much time for my cars, <laughs> but... So right now it's just kind of like word of mouth and you're... Oh, uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to advertise <laughs> too much work. So this is obviously the top drawer. Oh, I don't know where that one went. Man, but, you gotta, it's just loaded in here. Yeah, just about everything I got was used. Really? Um, yeah, so I was able to get a really good deal. Man, that's the way to go. You Gosh. get a lot of people getting... Um, inheriting tools and they don't really want them. Sure. They just, yeah, yeah liquidate everything. Yeah. But Especially if you're able to buy a lot at one time. Yeah, and that's, that's what I did. That's for sure the good way to go. It looks like most of these are going to be snap-on. Most tool. of them, most of them actually are. Um, there are some VIM or whatever. Okay, yeah, VIM. Yeah, VIM. Awesome. And then these are like, these, uh, these are for the most part of them. Or Sunex probably. Yeah, yeah Sunex. Okay, yeah. That's what my bigger sockets are. Okay. Sockets. And then just a few specialty sockets. What is that? This, these are um, for CDUs to take the impellers out of the CDUs. Oh, no way. Yeah, I work on yeah, a lot of Goodness. impellers for boats, cars. Yes. This is uh, um, the socket for the head bolts on uh, Audis. This is the, those half sockets, the half. Um, for lug nuts, like 22.5 and... Oh, like when they swell up and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty much just swelling up sockets. Don't use it too much, luckily, but... <laughs> but yeah, that's what that's for. That's, and what's this? I think you have like a bunch of stuff. In so this is um, for, I guess, BMW and also Subarus. This is a um, thin wall, 14 millimeter spark plug socket. That's for spark plugs? Yeah. What's the, like, why, what, what do you need this for? Um, it's, it's oh, a it's a swivel. Spark plug. Okay. Nice. Or, it looks like you keep a lot of the bigger sockets. Yeah. In the back. Goodness. I like that you keep these, uh, like the desiccant packs. Yeah, I saw one guy, he says he throws them in because, you know, they keep it from rusting. But yeah. But do they work? I don't know. I just, you know, you, you get your things here and there. They come with them. Yeah. Stick them well here. Maybe it'll do something. Maybe <laughs> it won't. Maybe it'll just make your box look weird. Uh, what does that sound to you? That's um, like just a little... Yeah, just, just shallow um, bits, I guess. Man. These sockets, and then you got my screwdrivers. Man. Mm. They're like all green, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yep. I was going to go with all green with everything that I could, but... Yeah. Yeah, so you're definitely a fan of the snap-on stuff, then. Yeah. Oh, these are super long. What? Why are these... Are these the same thing? Yeah, just they're like, just longer. Okay, just longer. Good. You don't always use them, but when you need them. Yeah. For really sure. nice to have. Now and that, then, see, this is like the, the pick set that I, I really like to get. 
Because it's like in between like a regular pick set yeah. mm -hmm. and like a radiator pick set. That's sweet. And this is kind of kind of my pry board drawer. Good. But also some odds and ends. You know, you got your hood lift. Or pop. Yeah. Is this a light back there? Uh, yeah. The, one thing I found that you don't want, you want to be careful with if you get used uh -huh. from the pawn shops is battery powered stuff. Oh, they don't, okay. Yeah, this doesn't last like 20 minutes. You could, oh, no. You could plug it in and it'll last as long as it's plugged in, but. Gotcha. So you like these snap-on pry bars? Yeah, I like them. Beefy, like these seem a little bit beefier than like uh, the typical like Mayhew <laughs> yeah. and stuff. And then what's this? Um, I don't know, honestly. I got this in a lot, <laughs> this and also th this I came with, but. Oh, really? And this one's for um, for the, the power stroke to release the oil lines. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got these. These work a lot better than these. These kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, these are like the carbide. Yeah. Type. Yeah, these work really good. That's cool. And then these are like your, you know, your panel pullers, the plastic oh, yeah. ones. Okay. So did you buy your box off the truck? I did buy the box off the truck. You did? Okay. Um, because I wanted exactly what I wanted. Yeah. And I wanted, you know, white, titanium. Yeah, so you, I don't, there was you don't really good co this. color combination and it's very hard to find used. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's awesome. You don't see white very, very often. So yeah. is, it, is white hard to keep clean? Like it's, so obviously it depends where, where you do for work. With what I do, and then so I probably wash it about every other month, okay. and it's not too bad. Like I washed it just the other day, Did you? Um, about twenty minutes. Oh, okay, oh, cool. And these are, you know, you put tow in like <coughs> different brands, especially like BMW or Audi, oh, yeah. Volkswagen. They're all they all look the same, but they're all different threads. Huh. Interesting. So we'll just go to the metric wrenches. Nice. Man, like all snap-on, huh? Yeah, I bought these off the truck. These and these. Okay. Those were more expensive than everything else. <laughs> so, so you were able to get used and stuff? Yeah. Oh, man, yep. that is awesome. And, you know, people really pride snap-on, so they really sure. take care of them. Yeah. Yeah, I love these, uh, the ratcheting, or these ones, the ratcheting. Yeah, these are ratcheting. And I like how yep. these don't have, like, the flex. I don't know, like, I, I guess flex comes in handy sometimes. Yeah, that's but, how it is. Uh, so, sometimes you want one or sometimes you want another. Right, yeah. Exactly. You got your really skinny wrenches. Oh, yeah. Which, yeah, those are definitely handy. Same deal. You don't always need them, but yeah. sometimes. Same with these. Like, I, I bought a pair of these, or a set of these, and uh, I used them once, but uh, definitely, like, I don't know. I could see them being handy on yeah. some jobs. Yeah, some jobs especially. Your standard, I didn't kind of. Spread them out is good, but yeah, same oh, deal. Sweet. Yeah, this is the only crescent wrench I got. Is it? <laughs> yeah. oh, those but, are massive skinny wrenches. Yeah. Yep. Goodness. Oh, that's huh. nice. Should be in that one. Huh. Be nice to get like those. Those I, what is those widgets or whatever? Oh yeah, the toolbox widgets. But obviously, it'd be a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you so, spend a lot. Yeah. yeah. A ton of them. Here's my pliers. Goodness. Yeah. Um, wish I got more Knipex than Snap-on. Yeah. You know, every brand has their really good things. Like, of course, you got these. Oh, yeah. You can't beat these, but I think the Knipex Channel X are probably better than Snap-on. But one thing with Snap-on and Knipex is you really notice how, how much easier the Snap-ons are to keep clean than the Knipex. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of tough. Man, is that like a the pipe? Part? That's like a massive pipe. Part yeah. Back there. Goodness. Yeah, you got. It. Huh. Got snap ring pliers. I see those are like the one green set of pliers <laughs> in here. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go all green. Yeah. You know, you saw the screwdrivers, but then yeah. I found a really good deal on a lot of these. Awesome. And it's nice to stick with the same color if you could help it. Uh huh. But I don't know. Yeah, when the deal comes, man. You gotta... Yeah, when the deal comes, but also there's a lot more red. You know these pliers, and gotcha. if you wait, if you don't, if you wait to only buy green, then yeah. you're not going to be able to get just about any. Yeah. And then you got your um, Zeus Plus. Man, Zeus Plus, huh? I don't think I've seen that one. Is that uh, like at the Bluetooth connection area? Yeah, yeah, that's got its. Whoa! Just, and then you got your scope in that drawer. Man, so they like don't even have like a because they used to have. Like a whole 
like wire attached to it, didn't they? Like, yeah. That's um, crazy. Huh. To hook the scope up, I mean, I don't want to ruin anything, but yeah, you just plug into the USB and then it does have another box. Does it? Okay. But yeah, you got your compression tester. Okay. And then your fuel compression tester. Okay. Fuel pressure tester. And then your infrared thermometer. Nice. Oil pressure gauge, the, the laser. Um, what is is that called? like the thermometer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then your, it's kind of an oddball to be in this drawer, but. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just these. Extractors and stuff. So do you have to get the Zeus? I guess you have to get it updated every once in a while. Yeah. 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 Huh. So yeah. like 100, I think 120 a month to. Oh, geez. It, uh, to keep the, the other subscription that it's got. But. Gotcha. And so the, the dongle, like the, the USB or the VLC connector, is there like a, like if you forget it, does it beep at you or anything? Yeah. It's oh, loud. it does. Yeah, okay. even if you just back out of the screen, it just screams at you. It's kind, really? of, kind of annoying, but. That's cool, because that's the one thing I'd fear is like just yeah. leaving it in a customer car. Yeah, and that's, you know, huh. has its pluses and minuses, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> cool. The extensions. Man. You mainly use these all the time. Are these like the Wobbly Plus? Yeah, the Wobbly Plus. Okay. That makes it so much nicer. These Wobblies are just kind of annoying, but. Yeah. It's kind of like, why did they even make these if they have? So that? it definitely comes in handy at times. Yeah. Obviously d different um, things that you do d really depends. Yeah. But then these come real handy when you're doing like bell housing bolts on like, trucks or even rear wheel drive cars. Oh, for sure. Huh. And these are just torque sticks, right? Yeah, those are torque sticks. Um, I, don't know, I don't really use them. Cause really? You're torquing them anyways. <laughs> right, yeah. And I don't really do many tires or Lugs, so. Gotcha. Are these like locking? Oh, these are locking, huh? Yeah, these ones are locking, but also wobble locking. Oh, they're wobble locking. That's nice. I don't know if that's what it's called, but. Huh. Yeah. That's cool. What are these? These are um, just magnets, um, adapters, I guess. So you can, you know, stick your socket on and then the magnet will hold, Whoa, hold your bolt in. Oh, that's cool. So you don't have to use like a, like a paper towel or something to like shove in there? Yeah. Wait. Assuming yeah, it's in a magnetized bolt, bolt, yeah. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Huh. Yeah, a lot of German cars, they don't have very gotcha. um, magnetized bolts. Oh, okay. But a lot of the other ones do. The ratchets. Jeez, you got like every ratchet ever made in here. Just about. And like, <laughs> like, these look like they're all snap-on, huh? Yeah, all these are snap-on. Okay. Yeah, this is my... Very first snap-on tool, got him back to 2000, I think it was back in 2012. Really? The 3 8 torque wrench? Use it awesome. quite a lot, especially German cars, or also BMW engines here. Oh, okay. Um, there's a lot of torque to yield bolts. Oh, okay. And like okay. odd, odd-sized um, torques that you're doing gotcha. as yielding bolts. Yeah. And this is the half inch and then the, yeah, the quarter? Yeah, the quarter. They, I guess they're all kind of like the same. Yeah, they're all the same. And oh, that's cool. And they all do angle, right? Yeah, all okay. of them are torque angle. And as far as ratchets go, they all look like they've seen a lot of use. <laughs> yeah. Do you have one that you uh, typically shoot for or that so you I go to? I typically do um, these, these bigger jobs, but when, whenever I start, then I get the small one. Okay. And then this one. And then just whatever I'm feeling, either one of these. Gotcha. And then just a few here and there. And then I. Always end up using more, but yeah. Oh, this one just like for bits, huh? Yeah, this is a bit dry ratchet. Huh. I guess. This one, you know, I got not too long ago. Okay. It's. I think um, you kind of figure out what you want or what, what how you want to do things, and then to change, and it's kind of. Um, I've heard that before. Like you'll have some really cool tools, but you're so used to doing it with the other tools that yeah. you have, it's like yeah, you, for, you forget that you even have them. That's yeah, cool. I know a lot of people really like this, but this is, I think I used it a few times. I don't like how, so you, you know, you're pushing, uh -huh. um, but then you're, you use your finger on the back to hold it mm -hmm. in so it doesn't fall out, but then it, you accidentally swap the direction. Oh, gotcha, yeah. And then here's the power drawer. Yeah, that's a massive power drawer. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely, definitely a little loaded. <laughs> it's here's like my packed in there. Other scanner, I got a launch. Oh, okay. Then 
These these lights, I use them all the time. These are my main two go lights. Okay. Uh, main go lights I go to. Yeah. Um, oh, they're Milwaukee. Are they? Oh, they have the. Yeah, they're the battery rechargeable the ones. Okay. Yeah. I have two of them because they only last like three hours. Okay. Um, yeah. Maybe they'd last longer if I didn't have it on the, <laughs> all the way. But uh, jumper box here. Cool. Your batteries, chargers. Yeah. And it looks like. Uh, most of these are Milwaukee. Well, yeah. So these ones are actually um, well, looks Mac. Like a Mac, yeah. Mac. Okay. And then, huh. does that hit pretty hard? That Mac one? It does pretty good. I heard the Milwaukee does a little better. Does it? Um, but when I started, like all these was used. I just um, this is one of the another first tool I got. Nice. And uh, I guess you, you have different phases, but yeah. When I went to get professional tools. This is a, one of the first ones I got. Gotcha. Okay. I didn't really know too much of the, you know, Milwaukee or Matco. I just saw a good deal. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I oh. got one and then, well, they got a match. So. Yeah. Oh, so these two are the same, or the yeah, Mac all, two? Yeah, all these are Mac, okay. Mac tools. Oh, okay, that's a drill and then, huh, nice. And it's nice how they, Matco works with, I guess, Mac, no Matco, but Mac tools works with Walt. Oh yeah. Make the batteries like a little cheaper, I guess. <laughs> yeah. These, you know, it's a. Impact. Oh, it's an air hammer. Okay. Yeah, air hammer. Yeah, it depends. I got my snap on one, and huh. see, like this one hits a little bit harder. Does it? But also, it's longer. It's nicer for taking off um, fan, fans. Okay. Huh. Fans off of like pickup trucks and not. Yeah. And then, and then I do have some Milwaukee. Just all oh, yeah, the M12s is all M Milwaukee. Okay, so you don't have any M18 Milwaukee? No. Gotcha. Yeah. I could switch, but I mean, these work good. Yeah, so. yeah, for sure. These cameras don't really work too good. But oh, is that like the... I don't know, that's just a... Like a borescope? Yeah. Okay. Huh. That's kind of cool that the screen like rotates. Yeah, that looks like it's seen some use. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you really want to use a smaller one. <laughs> But yeah. well, you got the long one too, though. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. This this is the main. These two are the main go-to. Are they? Especially with these bigger batteries. Oh yeah. One thing with these bigger batteries, they kind of make it have a little bit too much power, so it kind of gets a little loose. Oh, gotcha. So you gotta be like kind of. Huh. Oh, nice. Help it to stay in place, I guess. Is there a reason you uh, like use that one, or? Well, I guess that's just the longer version. Yeah, this, okay. this is just a long one. Gotcha. But this is yeah just. Get it gets in easier, and if I'm gonna be in a tighter spot, and then I would just use that one. Oh, okay. I know they got a, even a, a different one, but I mean, I've, what I got is working. Yeah. So right on. I mean, you could go on and on and get into tools. <laughs> yeah. And this is hammers. Bunch of hammers in there. Um. I don't know. Looks like you stick with anti-vibe and the snap-on dead blows. Yeah, these are nice when you just need to beat the crap out of yeah. something. Yeah. I've heard really good things about the anti-vibe yeah. stuff. Like they... And these, you know, you don't, they're really nice because you don't have to hit as hard to yeah. get what you need. Yeah, Man, I love how much use your tools have. Looks like they've been through like a war. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not like dirty or anything. Yeah, they, they've clean, been used. But... Yeah, exactly. Finish this box off, huh? Okay. But yeah, here's um, kind of a junk drawer, I guess, but just odds and ends, really. Yeah. Your, your magnet, your... That's a big flashlight. Yeah, this and it's not rechargeable, so oh. once it dies, then I guess it's oh, dead. Oh man, that sucks. And then this is kind of um, some diagnosing stuff. Got my GoPro. What do you use the GoPro for? What's? Um, I don't use it too often. Okay. But when I've, what I got it for is because there was a shake under a vehicle. I couldn't see where it was because while oh, I was driving. Oh yeah. So I got a GoPro and. Huh. So you can kind of like just record while you're driving around and stuff. Yeah. That's smart. Or else you could, I don't know, go on a trip. You go wave in, running as well, so you, okay. it's nice to you. Yeah. Record what you, record your adventures, you know? Yeah, that's cool. I got my What's little that? scanner for BMWs. What is that? This is for, um, I got it for BMWs. Is it like just Bluetooth to your phone or something? Or what is that? Yeah, like? Bluetooth to your phone. Okay. And then this is a voltmeter. It's, um, oh, just man, one of these. Yeah. I love how big the screens are on these. That's a huge plus. Yeah, yep. Huh. 
<laughs> so I noticed you have that one and a fluke. So it depends. If I'm going to do something quick and then, you know, you just need to check your volts and then you just get, there's no need to pull a bigger thing up. But yeah. I don't know. And what's this? Uh, this is for um, Mercedes. This is for your scan tool. You hook it to your laptop and then huh. it's like a um, factory. Oh, no way. For Mercedes. Huh. But, and then this is kind of for measuring tools. Okay. This is the case for the scan tool. The, oh, okay. You got your micrometers, whatnot, and then just different tools to measure. Yeah. Different. Oh, these. man, you got like a whole set in there. So do you like the, I guess, the analog instead of like a digital type of micrometer? Um, it depends. Like, yeah, they, these aren't too bad. Yeah. I took awesome. some machining classes as well and pretty, I don't know, definitely learned how to use these. And yeah. So this is um, kind of just a, so this is for a piston ring compressor. Huh. Got your different sizes. Oh, okay. For your yeah. pistons. Yeah. How do you like this versus like the kind that you just kind of screw on and tighten on the piston? So it's, I like it. Sometimes it's weird. It seems like some vehicles, one way works better than the other. Oh, okay. And then sometimes you're fine with just a regular band kind. Huh. You got your, your flat, straight edge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kind of, kind of the measuring tools plus ring compressor, I guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. These lockers um, just are just blow mold. Huge lockers. Got um, my, my coolant compression tester. You know, your vacuum feeler. Okay. I think this is like a, a slide hammer. This is a you know, your fuel um, fuel line oh, adapter. Oh, like it disconnects it. Okay. Yeah. You got your diesel compression tester. Same deal here. You got. What's that? Uh, yeah, just wild. yeah, just a big claw puller. Goodness. Good deal on from the pawn shop. That's I used awesome. it once, but huh. it'll be ready for the next time I need to use yeah. it. <laughs> you know, this is your transmission oil line tester, and then your, um, you know, your spark plug adapters. Cause oh, nice, yeah. You like that set? Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. It seems to be able to, f I know some, they don't like to fit in the spark plug holes on certain vehicles. Yeah. So far, this has been doing really good. Awesome. These are just bushing, bushing driver sets. Oh, okay. This is a smaller one, and this is a bigger one. And then, this is, I think this is an old version of these low pro ratchet. Oh, that's cool. But The hard handle? Yeah. Man, that's cool. What is that for? Oh, is I guess it's just extension. Just extension. Oh, okay, yeah, so you put that in, in there. Huh. And you could still use a regular, I don't know huh. if you need to, or else you could even, I can't remember what size of ratchet this is, but. Interesting. Or a wrench, but you could just stick a wrench on it as well. Yeah. I wonder what the point of having, because usually you want to get like thin, <laughs> no, you'd have an extension on there. Yeah, for huh. maybe. Interesting. This is a tap and die set, and then this is a. Just. Oh, yeah, a little service. Yeah. Don't use this too often, but. Huh. Does it have anything under it, or is that just. No, it's no. just. Okay, just top. Okay. Got my grease gun. This is a old sliding hammer. Oh, okay. Old craftsman one. Still works really good. It's a, a bigger um, re-threader, I guess, a taps and die set. Okay. And this is just a bearing puller set. Oh, nice. Oh, and look at that. That's cool. Yeah. Man. Mayhew seems to do really good, so I just... Got a lot of making. Oh, I love how it stands up so you can tell exactly what you need and what you have. That yeah. Is sweet. I would stick these in, but it's too tall. Oh, to right, fit, yeah. So. That's cool. Yeah, you got your regular ones, your imp ones for your impact gun and your smoke machine. That's so cool. And you have like brass. That's cool. Yeah. Now, does that smoke machine work pretty good? It seems to work pretty good. It'd be nice if it didn't need uh, air hose attached to it as well. But oh, gotcha, yeah. It does do pretty good. Yeah, I love that display though. Like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of thing. Yeah, and these a um, little bit more engine-specific things. Okay. Some torque specs for cool. a wave running. 
<laughs> your compression, I guess your test if you have a bad head gasket. Gotcha. Some pulley removers. What's in that? This is a harmonic balancer pulley. Oh, okay. Cool. You have like stamps. Yeah. So how often do you go to like pawn shops and stuff? And do you still buy tools so I, quite often? Um, so I, I got a lot in 2018 to 2020. Yeah. I pre yeah, pretty much just got everything then. And That's cool. Now I sometimes do, not nearly as often. It used to be like once a month I'd hit, like I went to all the ones in this valley. Everywhere I'd go, I'd, I'd go to the pawn shops or else, you know, go to like eBay or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, here's another air, air lift. What's an air lift? This is to fill your coolant. Oh, um, okay. I got you, yeah. It's just different styles. For the most part, I use that one. That one's like a, a cornwell. Okay. Seems like that one works for more than this one does. So these put like a vacuum on the system, right? Yeah, for okay. your coolant system to fill it. And I use these all the time. Do you? Doing a lot of engine swaps. Awesome. And then these, you know, we filter wrenches, more filter oh, yeah. wrenches. Oh, that's a nice set. It's a nice set for like German cars. Yeah. I got this for Mercedes that I got. Nice. And I use it quite a bit. Sharpeners, whatnot. Yeah, what is that thing? Is that just a battery tester? Yeah, this is a battery tester. Oh, okay. I don't like how you um, have to have it in the vehicle, but. You have to have it in the car? Uh, yeah, you gotta like crank it. Because you have to have a load, and I guess this doesn't have huh. much of a load. Interesting. This one you don't, but. Oh, is that another battery mix. tester there? Yeah. Huh. Unless I'm using this wrong, I don't know. This, um, you know, Chrysler dipstick. Oh, yeah. Have a lot of Mighty Vac tools. Nice. You know, your adapter. And then another head gasket tester. Cool. This is a dowel pin puller. Pin so puller. there's obviously different styles. But this is... Um, How does that work? So you slide it on a dowel pin. Okay. And then you stick this on. And then you tighten this. Oh, As you tighten it, it's like pulling it in. And then... You stick this on, and then you tighten this, and then it's kind of pulling oh, it. Pulls it. Out. Oh, wow. That's sweet. It's definitely a bit involved. Also, obviously, can't fit in small areas, but. Sure. Yeah, it's way better than putting, like, some pliers on it or something. Yeah. And then, you know, transmission assembly. Cool. I use this a lot for um, when you have a bolt and it's not magnetized. You know, you stick this oh, yeah. on your sockets. Yeah. And you can slide it in and cool. Um, so this is some for some some locked hubcaps. Oh, oh for okay. this style. Gotcha. For huh? Yeah, just That's different vehicles. I haven't used this huh. too much, but yeah, it's tiny. Oh, is this like an electronic? Yeah, this the what? whole box is uh, Echo Locks. What is Echo Locks? I don't. Um, I've never heard that before. It's you lock the box so. Wait, is it with like a key fob? Yeah. No yeah. way. Yeah. Holy Locked. crap. <laughs> yeah, oh awesome. my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Yeah, each, yeah. each section comes with two remotes. So oh. I have a few remotes. Gosh, that's crazy. Huh, so do you have to have like batteries stored in them or something? So these just plug into the wall. Oh, they do, okay. So wow. if you don't have power and then yeah, you, use a key. you need keys. Okay, yeah. Huh. And then this one, like, I, like I'm like i 5'9", but this is like... <laughs> yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. I'm kind of short. And <laughs> I don't know how, how you get up there. Like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have a step stool. Okay, yeah. I we can stand on that together. <laughs> and then there's some more sockets. Yeah. There's a lot more of the, the, the Vim. Sockets. Yeah. I like Vim. They make some good stuff. Yeah, these are really nice for especially German, um, German vehicles. Uh-huh. It's like German cars you need. Really long Torx bits and really small Torx bits as yeah. well of that? everything. This is for German cars, for the lug nuts. You start them in. Oh, like in this car, but gotcha. You, like to hold you the thread wheel them off. in to help hold the wheel. Gotcha. And then when I was working on semis, I got just the ones that I needed for like wheel hubs. Nice. And then these, obviously, what I never used those? them. What are those? That's um, wild. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they'll come in handy, but... Huh. You just put it on the end of a ratchet, huh? 
Yeah. That's interesting. Who, what brand is that? Cornwell? Yeah, Matt, yeah, Cornwell. Oh, Cornwell. Huh. It's got impact screwdriver set. Okay. It's like more oil Whoa. filter wrenches. Yeah, that's like everything in there. This is O2 oh, sensors. sensors. Nice. What, what are these? So these, um, for BMW N54, to pull the, um, the front main seal, um, so this is the one to re remove it. You thread it in to, you know, right behind the harmonic balancer. Oh. You thread it in and then you tighten this and then it pulls, oh, pulls the seal out. That's and cool. then to install it, um, I got a cheap one so it broke, but kind of the same deal, but this tightens it and pushes it in. Huh. This is more wrenches. Like bigger wrenches in here. These are, you know, just different brands. Yeah. yeah I really like these, uh, the ones that kind of have a raised up section. Yeah, these, I got these very recently and Did you? really like these a lot more than I yeah. thought I would have. And Mountain, I, they make the same, like yeah, they're the ones that make these. Right? Yeah, these guys make these. Yeah, so you just get these on Amazon. Yeah, I got these off Amazon, got these from a pawn shop. Oh, awesome. That's cool. Jeez, you got, these go all the way up to like that. Yeah. 32, my gosh. Yeah, these, I just got them, <laughs> but. Goodness. Yeah, the, this style does, um, it, you can strip um, your bolts if they're really tight, but. Oh, because they're like the spline? Yeah, but oh. you, you know, it's nice you can stick it on multiple styles of heads. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Got a classic gear inch sets there. Sweet. And these, same deal with, huh. they came with the, uh, you know, another lot. I haven't found a good use for them yet. Wait, so this is attached to the, whoa. I don't know how old those are. cool. Oh, this is a 10 millimeter, I better put that back. <laughs> 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 that's cool though, like, I don't, I've never, huh. Yeah, I don't know. I bet somebody out there uses these every day for some, some random job. Yeah, maybe. Come in handy, huh. And this is, Kind of longer tools. Gosh, like you got way bolt cutter. Dude, these are huge. Yeah. What do you? <laughs> you like cut any lock with those? Good. I don't know. It just makes it. I guess cutting chains. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. And um, this grease is for chain. if your grease zerks are aren't are clogged, and you like stick oil in here and then hammer it on your grease zerk, and what? hopefully it'll. Huh. Hopefully it'll be able to save your grease there. So does this like come out and then you just hit it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you stick oil in here. Oh, wow. And then you, you know, it's got oil in it, so yeah. it doesn't go down all the way, but you hammer it and then it like hopefully huh. squeak. Do they like, it in. like grab onto the Zerk? Yeah. Oh, they do. Okay. Oh, okay. They like screw on. Okay. Yeah. You huh. got your different attachments for I was like, That's gonna make tighter nice. areas, yeah. which that'd be hard to hammer with a flimsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But huh. maybe. Got massive hammer here. Yeah, I used to do a lot of truck tires. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's this? I think this is for a watch. Yeah, I got a watch and needed some tools to oh, change cool. the battery. Huh. Nice. I used to once. Oh, these are weird. Like super skinny. Yeah, I just ran a power bars. Yeah. Originally got it just to do bees to do what um so i used to do bees like uh, like a commercial beekeeper i did a lot of stuff but yeah this is covered in beeswax be like oh pry your bee box oh and like then, actual like flying bees yeah yeah that makes more sense that's cool this is my like a keys personal. paperwork cool. and then this is my more um punches not more, you know, Mayhew. Awesome. Yeah, Mayhew is, I just can't say enough good about them. They just make good stuff. And then my drill bits. Whoa. <laughs> That's a solid set. Those really nice cut set. pretty good. Yeah, these do really good, obviously, until you break them. But right, yeah. These are some old snap punk punches, but huh. I've seen, seen some use. Are these drill bits too? These. Yeah, so you got your oh, bigger drill bits. Oh my gosh. And then also your reamers. These oh, are. yeah. What do you use reamers for? So it's really nice if you, like you could drill a small hole and then quickly get to bigger sizes. Huh. 
Interesting. They just seem to cut a lot quicker than the regular drill bit. Oh, yeah. but, and your reverse drill bits. Oh, yeah. Your easy outs. This kind of electric, just electric diagnosing. You know, you got your, all your different leads. Oh, geez. That's a solid set. My yeah. goodness. What is that? Not like a These are back probes, really skinny ones. They just have have it in this. Oh, oh okay. Paint, this cushion because they're nice. really sharp. Huh. So. Man, this has like every connector. So in you it, don't huh? bend it or else get stabbed. Uh, that's a nice set. And your, you know, other leads. Uh huh. So I see a couple flashlights around. I guess you use the Milwaukee, the ones the most. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, because you need two hands. Right? right, for sure. Some people, I don't know, I don't know how people do it with. One hand with light and the other hand working, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like set it somewhere that you're gonna forget it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is to test relays. Like a relay buddy? Or? Yeah. Okay. Relay buddy. That's nice. It's just different ones. And you have a few savers and then you're just, you know, these. Oh, yeah. So check it's your bolts on your relays. Yeah. That's cool. What's this thing? So when I bought my um, little scanner, it came with one of these. These, is, I think it's to program keys for a fob, but I can't huh. remember which one, but. Interesting. So yeah. what is this thing? So this is to, you know, stick it on your voltmeter and then it's supposed to have some kind of a load. Some people, they just use a light, huh. but you could use this as well. I don't know, Interesting. whichever works. Yeah. And then this is, more construction tools. Man, you got a whole drawer of rigid. Almost, um, a long time ago, I almost went to the field of construction work instead of automotive. Oh, really? What made you want to go uh, stick with automotive versus? I don't know. <laughs> I almost should have just stuck with this. Yeah. <laughs> but, I don't know. Uh, There's yeah. a lot more people in, in construction, it seems like. Yeah. Did you have a box before this? I should have asked that. Uh, yeah, so I had that one. Oh, okay. Is it like a That's the first something? one I've gotten. Who makes that? T and E. I don't know if you've huh. never heard of that. I don't even know if they're in business still. Huh. So you went from this to like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty much. I don't know a lot. And then this is markers, different oh. colors. Cause nice. You never know. You never know when you need a different color. Yeah. It's part of my construction, but cool. different bits, whatnot. Yeah, that's so nice having tools like this. You don't have to hunt down from somewhere else. That's cool. Yeah, for sure. Especially, you know, even still having the construction tools, if you need to do stuff on your house. And sure, yeah. There's another one of those. Yeah. This and then, um, so when you're working on transmissions and then you have really tiny drill bits, and I didn't have a drill, bit, drill gun that'll um, go to really tiny bits, Really? So I got this one. Huh. It works. Interesting. Yeah, those valve bodies have tiny screws or tiny holes. Interesting. I'm like nervous. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> so high. <laughs> <laughs> this is my pneumatic and then earmuffs because oh, sure. this is kind of loud. So yeah. See like a sander in here too? Cool. Yeah. Do some body work too because we work on like wave runners and boats. So we, oh, okay. Um, we have a fleet. We we can't, we can't wait for, um, to job it out because they need, they typically need to go out the gotcha. next day. Oh, okay. Huh. So you just got to fix it. And this is a bunch of clamps for like welding, rail, whatever you want. And then just this. Huh. And then you're, you know, your tie rod. You know, pull your tie oh, rod yeah. Into her. That's cool. Just the bushings and the suspension. I don't do too much suspension work, but huh. sometimes. Yeah. Maybe we'll get these two drawers and okay, steps yeah. through. <laughs> this is, you know, gloves, different attachments for your like, grinding. Cool. This is, uh, yeah, a lot of it, the rest is kind of just uh, construction yeah, days, but. That's kind of nice because you don't have to go up there every day. Yeah, that's for cool. sure. Torch goggles. And yeah. Cool. Fish tapes, that's really nice for running on like trailers. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's a massive welder too, right? I didn't notice. Yeah, I used to do a lot more welding, but Did you? not as much. 
but whenever I need to. Yeah, it's ready. For sure. It's kind of shallow, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like flimsy. That's OK. okay. Oh, and yeah, then this is nice. Just some construction. Yeah. I needed to, I got my lift. I needed to get a, you know, drill these, these bolts in. Yeah. Oh, you put the lift in yourself? Yeah. Nice. Is that a timing light? Yeah, that's a timing light. I don't use it too often, but some, yeah. some of the older bolts especially. Oh, okay. You know, your knife sharpeners. This is a gun cleaner thing, but I'm using more for like automotive. Okay. Sorry, what's back there? What's that down? Oh, uh, this is a Glock. <laughs> a what? A Glock. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then this is, um, you know, some specialty tools. A lot of this is for CDUs. The, okay. the wave runners, and then this is for like the snap rings and some transmissions. That's what we got this for. Okay. I and then massive. yes, and then also transmission tools. These are like pull the transmission, the the pump, the f oh huh. pump, and then to do your to compress your um, the clutch the clutch packs. Yeah, more transmission stuff. This is for like drums for semis, drum oh, okay. brakes. Yeah. Those, those springs. And you have tools for everything. Here. Is this just the box for the yeah. other stand tool? Drum? Yeah. Okay. It's for the other one, yeah. This is for Ford um, transmissions. There's like a bushing that likes to um, wear out, I guess. Huh. So that you could just put a bigger, bigger hole and then put a different bushing in. Oh. And then this is just receipts. Okay. Receipts, and then some old wrenches that I used to used to use. Yeah. When you're working on um, semis, you do a lot of, especially the ones I did, was a lot of hydraulics. Uh huh. A lot, a lot of hydraulic hoses. Cool. And then just, just manuals and stuff. Just, just random manuals, yeah. Cool. Should I get down or? Oh, maybe, maybe like scoot it. it. <laughs> And then this is more construction tools. Yeah. Cool. Same deal. Nice. And then this is yeah. Yeah, more construction <laughs> tools. It's so nice though, because you have the room to like dedicate drawers for stuff like this. Yeah, once I'm yeah. That's cool. Maybe once I grow up and taller, then I'll <laughs> put more automotive tools in there. Oh uh, yeah. I got and it yeah, that's it in this box. Tools, construction tools. Yeah. And this one. So this top drawer is more like um, these are timing toolkits. Oh, okay. For you know, you got your one's Audi, one's Range Rover, Porsche, and then this is uh, one for the Ford 2.0. Also the Range Rover, huh. the 2.0. Yeah, that's all in here. Just the timing. Cool. It's more Ford. You know, three five timing toolkits. Huh. You don't really need. Yeah, it's much better to use these. <laughs> and then this is like a bushing driver, bushing okay. seal driver, and then another timing light. Nice. That kind of sucks when you work on everything because then you have to get yeah, specialty you, tools for everything. Yeah, especially. This is a um, and so in that one then I had the full like with all the. The cooling pressure tester uh -huh. had all the adaptions in that one, and then this uh, this one's the first one that I got with nice. just a couple adapters. Gotcha. And then just a plug-in light. Okay. Never like a work light. Never use. And then um, what's that thing? So this uh, ozone machine. So if your car is has smells weird, hopefully oh. you'll be able to stick this in. I like, kind of. Is that like if you're, like it. someone smokes in your car or something, or if you smoked in it? Yeah. Interesting. Did a little airbrushing when I was younger, and oh, nice. came with that compressor. Yeah. Cool. This is just a Mac Mac Tools pry bar, or pretty much pick set. Oh, that's solid. Man, I like this case. Cause yeah. Like if you're ever mobile and you can take that case with you. Really good deal, cause I was missing one. Yeah. <laughs> Always bothered me, but I don't use this in too often. So oh, okay. Anymore, anyways. And then there's more detailing and 
Um, some auto body. Huh. Your paint gun sprayer cleaner. Oh, okay. Your little brushes. So do you spray in here? I did. Yeah. Obviously not with the box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we used to paint a few things in here. Did you? What is that? Is that like for yeah, this is, auto body too, I guess? Yeah, just, um, you know, you could change the light because you definitely want certain lights. Huh. That's one thing I never knew. Like, what's the benefit of being able to change like the temperature in the light like what can you just see different shades of the paint yeah. or something um because obviously you want your your vehicle to look good outside uh-huh and inside it's um a different color than outside so oh, you, you're sense. detailing mm -hmm. and it looks great then you bring it outside then it doesn't look as good <laughs> okay i got you yeah you got your yeah your buffers different you know, just different ones yeah and your vacuum pressure tester didn't get this in too long ago, so I guess it's oh, yeah. still needs to be broken in. But. Man, that's a big case for that little yeah. gauge. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, though. These are nice when you when need them. What is that? This is to like just plug um, just fittings. If they're leaking on you while you're working, you just plug them. Oh, what? Well, they're like flexible, huh? Yeah, they're like like super rubbery. Yeah, there's huh. Cones. So like when you take a caliper off or something, you would shove that into the line. Is that uh, what yeah, you're talking about? that or else even literally anything, hydraulic hoses, huh. oil hoses. Oh, that's cool. The stud remover. This is, I think, a, yeah, oh, okay. a compression tester. You get like four of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, this is kind of um, some engine stuff and then just that. But, huh. but yeah, this is those, these bolt busters. Oh, the induction tool? Yeah, the induction tool. Oh, yeah, that's super nice. It's like, you know they're really nice, but once you use them, you're like, yeah, they're really nice. Oh, for when sure. When you need them. Yeah. It, this thing heats up really quick. But, oh, yeah, that's so nice. Pretty much just one big block of... Yeah. And so, like, if you guys aren't familiar with these, like, these attachments, do you mind if we take one yeah, out? Yeah, that's fine. Well, you just stick. This is one I typically have been using. Oh, yeah. You just, you just stick, stick it in, in. there. And then whatever you're trying to heat up will fit inside of this, uh, like this hole here where the wires are winding around. And it just, it'll get a bolt glowing red in like, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds. Yeah, it starts smoking within two seconds. Yeah, that's crazy. Super handy, especially if you don't want to like bust out a torch or something. Yeah. I'm um, just like sure. a little bolt. Or if it feels like it's going to break and it's oh, yeah. in a tight area, you don't want to burn the car, whole car up. Yeah. But it heats just that area up pretty nice. So. You don't have to worry about it melting other things if you, because <laughs> yeah. how quick it, it does. For sure. Harmonic balancer, installer. Yeah. So you don't have to like hammer the harmonic balancers on. Yeah. Like some people do. This is for, this, I got this for like Audi or a Range Rover, I can't remember, but this is like a slide hammer to pull injectors out. Uh, you could use it on okay. multiple, uh, huh. multiple vehicles, but. Interesting. Does and it work then, pretty good? Uh, yeah, huh. it works. Yeah, it seems to work pretty good. And usually they're not in there too tight. Yeah. For the cars I've worked on, I know Range Rover, they, they're a little tighter. <laughs> and these are to do the, the little seal on the injectors. Uh huh. Because I got to bring, make the seal a little bigger and then shrink it back down once it's on. Huh. And this is. Whoa. You know, some terminal um, removers. Yeah. I just got off Amazon not too long ago. Oh, okay. Cool. It looks like it's a complete set. Yeah, seems to work good for all the ones I've used it for so far. And this is just for the tire pressure monitor systems. Oh, okay. You go like, you know, put your, put the scanner next to your tire and then it'll... Huh. Does that work pretty good? Yeah, it works pretty good. Yeah, it'll tell you if it's working or what your pressure is. Nice. Also, it'll tell you what you know you put your you're making model in and it'll tell you your what sensors you need nice and also the different brands you could and the part numbers for that brand oh yeah an amazing setup here definitely i, I think i'm pretty sure this is going to be the biggest box we've had on this channel just massive and i guess you're do you use your monitor for like uh like your scan tool and stuff or what do you use that for i mainly just 
since, since this shop's so small, then I pretty much just use my scan tool just in the vehicle outside. Oh, okay. But yeah, I re recently got that scan tool and huh. still, still obviously learning it, but also yeah. came with this monitor and That's maybe cool. I'll use it a lot more yeah. just with this laptop. So is this monitor like mounted? No, it's just, it's just sitting there. Oh, it's just sitting there, okay. Gosh, well, Jake, I really appreciate you taking the time to let me look at your box and your tools, man. I do appreciate it. Yeah, Gosh. for sure. Look at that. Just huge setup. Gosh, love it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till the next one, we'll see you.